Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a little roof terrace update for you. I know it's been a while since I showed you it out here, um, but I've got some big plans for it for this summer. Um, now that we've got the wall all sorted, um, it's in a bit of a mess, but we're gonna get it all cleaned up and I'm gonna give it a full makeover. But I thought before we do, I would just show you how it is now. I'm gonna do a bit of repotting this afternoon, a bit of a clear out, get rid of any dead plants, any stuff that we don't wanna keep anymore, and just get it sorted so it's all ready to go for the makeover which will be coming up in the next few weeks hopefully all going well if I can get my act together um, so yeah I just thought I'd share with you um, the current condition that it's in before we do that and just show you around so earlier today I was filming for the house plant rescue series so you can see that there's a few of the plants out here now um, that aloe vera I bought out to get a bit of sun and also um, over here, the ones that were infested in bugs, I've just given them a good spray, so they're out here as well. Um, but as you can see, it's a bit of a mess because while this wall was being built, um, so that's all new, we had to move all the plants across to this side. So you can see that they're all bunched up. So I need to sort out all of these. Some of them have died, the heather's not doing very well. I think these things have taken over in those. But we've got, um, I think this is a hydrangea that's coming through again. Lots of stuff's come back to life this spring, which is brilliant, some random tulips. Um, we've got some wild strawberries down there. This is the palm tree that's looking all right. I might need to pull some leaves off that. We've got some cherries, um, so hopefully they are going to uh, come on really nicely if the squirrels don't get to them first. Uh, the lavender's bounced back really well and the clematis seems to be doing all right. Uh, these box hedges always do good. I never have any problems with those. We've got um, some pots down here that I need to sort through. These seem to be doing all right. These are kind of uh, just nice shrubs with a nice red color. I don't know what they are. And this over here is a pear tree, which I think should be getting lots of pears this year because you can see all of the buds coming through on that. Such a mess out here. Sorry if you can't really see. Down there there's some ivy, still got the Christmas tree out, I haven't really bothered uh, sorting out anything out here uh, as yet, just been waiting to sort it out, we've even got pumpkins still out here from uh, Halloween and spray painting cloths because you know that I'm always out here spraying. Uh, yeah, so this all needs a good sort out, that chicken wire there is just to protect things from the squirrels, um, but yeah as you can see there's lots of mess, we're going to get the deck all cleaned up. Um, I think we're gonna get that jet wash soon hopefully. And then I'm thinking this fence around the edge I'm gonna paint a different colour and then I think we might do something on this wall now that we've got this white wall here. Um, I'm thinking maybe paint a pattern on it but undecided. I'd love to know your thoughts on that. Um, so let me know if you have any, but we've got this great big white wall and the thing that I'm finding is that the sun hits it in the morning so it's coming up over that side, so it's bouncing off this wall and it is so bright that when you come out here you're just blinded by it. So I thought maybe we should add some colour onto this or maybe some trailing plants. Um, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are, I'd be interested to know. So I think the plan for today is just to clear out any plants that we don't want anymore, get rid of any rubbish, any old plant pots that are broken or that we're not going to use and just clear a bit of space. I think there's too much stuff out here and I'm going to decide what pieces of furniture that I want to get rid of as well. I want to get some new chairs so I think this may have to go, we actually found this on a skip. <laughs> so I'm probably going to put it on free cycle and see if someone else wants to make use of it. It's a nice old fashioned teak chair. It has split a bit in places but you know it's absolutely fine it's doing all right and then this metal table I'm not sure I don't know whether to keep that or not I might paint it we've got a couple of chairs that I think I'd like to replace because they're just not comfortable and if you don't want to sit on something it's kind of pointless having it I guess so they may have to go and then over here I've built this bench and it's another thing that I'm undecided as to whether to part with or not um, so we'll see how we get on once that's all cleared <laughs> I do not think the heather is enjoying being with these. So I'm gonna put three of these all in together, I think, and plant all the heather together. Hopefully they won't be fighting over the water so much then. So let's try this one in here. 
Some babies ready to go. Two here, look. One, two. Do those in a future video for you. This has got very slimy. Unfortunately, the roots were drowning on this. I'll have to let that dry out and pop it in the sunshine now. Time to get the Christmas lights off the tree. These are still going really strong by the way, remember the copper lights that I bought. Still really bright, but they need to come off this. Yeah, I'm so impressed with these. They're still shining really, really brightly. These are the ones that I got at Christmas time. You'll remember from the uh, Christmas roof terrace video. So I'm gonna put these away safely until everything's sorted out here. Then we'll put them back on somewhere, maybe along the fence. I think it would look quite nice. Wow, it is so hot today. Shooting this on the bank holiday Sunday. So this is the May bank holiday here in London and it is absolutely boiling. I'm loving it. It's so nice to be outdoors. made some progress. I've filled this one with just the uh, autumn heather now. This has just got these fir trees, I guess you'd call them, which I've just watered with slimy water from the rain um, in the watering can. This I need to sort out still. Collected all the old pots. Got a full bag of weeds already. This area I haven't touched yet. Um, over here, so the Christmas tree is now without its lights. Those are all good to go. More heather here. I dismantled the table and the chair, which I'm probably going to get rid of. Now over here, I've just discovered this. This has got lovely fresh mint growing in it. Here you can see we've got the wild strawberries growing as well. Look, you can just see one starting out right here. Amazing. But look at this mess. Can anyone tell me what this one is? Is it a weed? Is it a plant? I've got no idea. It smells nice. And it's got little pink flowers on it. Just found one of the Christmas bauble. And who remembers this massive pot? I think I did this one in the live homeware hall. So this is gonna be swapped out for the pot that the palm tree is currently in. And it weighs a ton. Yeah, what do we think of the new pot? It looks good, doesn't it? Okay, so you can see all this space is now being cleared, which is definitely an improvement. I've been able to go through all of the plants and pull out all of the dead ones. And then I've got uh, plants that just need a little bit of TLC along here. All these, I'm gonna decide whether we keep them or not once I know what we're doing with the space out here. Same with the chairs, same with that chair over there, and same with the tabletop. Um, I might just sell all those and start afresh, I think. 
And then down here I'm going to put all of these plastic pots outside for someone to take. They will go in no time. People in my neighbourhood absolutely love planting and so plant pots will go straight away. I've got some things here that are also going to go. That <laughs> is left over from Christmas so that's going to go back in the loft. I'm just going to clear up all of this now. And I've got a bag of weeds that I'll be taking down to the compost and a bag of rubbish. Right, I think it is definitely time for a glass of wine now. So I'm going to say goodbye. Um, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next update on the roof terrace, which should be in the next few weeks. And I've got a bit more time to turn my attention to it. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.